Hi Capricorn, please give this video a like or you'd be more than um, encouraged to subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, let's get straight into it Capricorn and have a look and see who is your soulmate. Okay, the Priestess of Beauty, very strong physical attraction. This person is or will be perfection in your eyes. There's a very strong physical connection and I think the two of you will connect very quickly in this regard. You'll connect very quickly physically. Now, this person might be the epitome of perfection for you. Everybody's definition of perfection is different, but to you this person will be perfect. There's not only exterior beauty to this person, there's also interior beauty. They have many sides to them, I feel, but it's more to do with creativity and growth. You can see the phases of the moon here indicate growth and different phases of emotion. So I I feel like this person is might be going um might be undergoing some sort of transition here with the priestess of beauty. I feel like they have a talent, maybe a hidden talent or something creative. They could be artistic, they could be in music, fashion, design, um, writing, but they have quite a dreamy state about them. Something about harmony comes to mind here. You can see this this priestess here playing the harp, and she's just so content. Um, in uh, where she is so I feel like this person very much lives in the moment Capricorn they very much embrace the moment very strong compatibility here between the two of you but this person is going to beautify um, your relationship so this person is going to really bring out the best in you this person is going to aim to please this person is going to want to do anything they can to make you happy to see you smile so I think there's a quite there's a thoughtful nature to this person. They're quite thoughtful and sweet with the Priestess of Beauty. Again, there's many phases, so I feel like they've undergone an emotional, a wonderful and beautiful emotional growth pattern of some kind here with all the different phases of the moon. This is wonderful. I think that they're very creative and they're, very, they're quite deep as well, um, Capricorn. Okay, clarity. This is someone that's very expressive, Capricorn. This soulmate is coming in with clarity. They're going to give you clarity. So if there's been lack or despair or doubt or uncertainty or instability in your previous relationships, this soulmate is destined to come in almost angel-like. Heaven sent here is destined to come in and give you the clarity that you are so seeking. I almost feel like this person might be different than what you're used to, Capricorn, but it's in a good way. This person is who you need. It's probably not who you want right away, but it's who you need. I feel like there is lessons for you to learn here about inner peace and harmony in your own relationships. But with the Priestess of Clarity, this is someone who is clear, concise, direct, and is going to clarify Clarify their feelings, clarify your feelings, how you feel about love, your perception of love, and your maybe even your perception of soulmates here. But there, there's like this angelic element to them. Look at these wings. This is beautiful. The Priestess of Clarity um, gives us feeling of hope, gives us feeling of stability, gives us feelings of complacency. So this is what this person is going to be giving you. This is beautiful. Okay, the Priestess of Luxury, the dates that resonate with her are September 2nd to September 29th. This could be auspicious for you. These dates may be, the per, um, may be this soulmate's birthday. They may be significant around this soulmate. This could very well be the, th the time that you meet. Priestess of Luxury says this person has a taste for the finer things in life. Um, also excessiveness, um, abundance and prosperity is coming in around them. They could work in the luxury field in their work. They could work for a lux luxury industry, a luxury product. Um, there is excess excessiveness coming in around them. But I think it's a refined energy Capricorn. You can see this delicate swan here. And I feel there's a very majestic and enamoring energy that they have about them, Capricorn. And I think you'll be just so enamored by the way that they speak, the way they carry themselves. Again, this has a lot to do with physical attraction, um, but it's also emotion that's going to bring you closer. Remember, it's not just the physical. I think the physical will just be a bonus for you, Capricorn. But it's someone who's, who, who can be quite delicate, I feel. Delicate in their emotions, maybe delicate in their um, perception of love could be fragile as well, but I, I think it's more this person is quite refined. There's a refined energy uh, to them. It could also mean that they're bringing luxury to you in your life. Luxury, beauty, 
could introduce you to a very nice lifestyle here. Okay, the Priestess of Shine, July 8th to August 4th. I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if this, if this person is in a leadership role or this person is in, the, in um, the public eye or in the spotlight of some kind here. I feel like wherever they go, they radiate a shine, they radiate a glow, people need to know about them. They attract a lot of people, I feel, whether it's through their looks. I think it's through their looks, but I also think it's because of their passion and the way they carry themselves here, these beautiful swan-like um, creatures here. Also, what looks like a unicorn here. So I feel like this person... Um, is very rare. They encompass a lot of things, but there's a rarity to them. So it's not someone you come across very often because I think they encompass so much physical beauty, um, wealth, material possessions, emotional clarity, emotional stability. I'm um, the priestess of shine here. Again, they like to see the best in things, Capricorn. This is someone who's very, very optimistic, someone who's going to make you shine someone who's going to shine for you. You're going to bring out the best in them. This is powerful. They could also work in an industry that's in the spotlight where people know about the, the company, the corporation, production company, talent agency, whatever it is. I feel like maybe it's a prestigious university or an Ivy League school, but this person is works or is well known somehow I feel like they shine for people and they have these things that are accompanying them that indicate this person is leading a very comfortable lifestyle okay the justice card Libra and energy coming in here they could also be quite um quite big on equality big on fairness here with the justice card there's scales here they might work in the justice system or they might be very just they might be very very balanced and they're very well equipped in their decision-making processes. So the quite, a, quite an analytical approach to their decision-making um, likes to promote a lot of harmony is what I keep getting with the clarity card, the, the, the beauty priestess. It's all about harmony and justice. So I like, I like this person's beliefs. It could relate back to their morals or how they are in relationships. I feel like they're very fair Capricorn. It's not one-sided. I feel they're very fair when it comes to their approach to their relationships and what they're able to give and what they're expecting in return. So things are reciprocated. This is a very strong karmic connection with the Priestess of Justice here. Very strong karmic link that the two of you will share together. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. Again, there's money and wealth around them. I feel like they're undergoing some sort of assessment because this can be exchange, gain, growth of funds, and assessment of life. And I feel as though there's something serious going on around this person. Now, it could be a change of job. It could be saving for a home. It could be that they work with large amounts of money and deliberating large, amount, large amounts of money equally or fairly in the industry that they're in. Or they receive large amounts of money for the work they do, the justice or the harmony they promote. Seven of Pentacles is Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So they could have a very grounded and logical approach when it comes to money. I feel like they they make they make good decisions in life, they, or they have made good decisions in life, and as a result, it's it's given them success, it's given them blessings, it's given them lots of opportunity, and it's given them the opportunity to shine. So they take things seriously. If something is going on around them, Capricorn, they take it they take it seriously. They take it to heart, I see. They don't do things for the sake of it. They're a person of their words. They're a person of action with the Seven of Pentacles. And I like that. This is stability. This talks about stability. So I think there'll be a lot of consistency with this person here. Absolutely. Okay, the Strength card. This is a Leo that's coming through. Someone who's strong in character, strong, uh, strong-willed, strong-headed physically strong this is a person that's working on their strength or has built up strength I also feel like there's an energy where they can be your anchor or you could be theirs with the strength card here there's affection but there's also um it could be pride but it's also a tamed um some, something about taming or leading or pride maybe this person might have a lot of pride But I'm seeing that this person is able to connect 
with a lot of people in a lot of different ways because you see the woman connecting here with the lion and they have a somewhat symbiotic relationship here. So they're both benefiting from something, whether they're getting affection or leadership. And I think you, the two of you will bounce off each other. You'll complement each other quite way, quite well. In one way, I feel as though one might be more dominant in this relationship than the other. One might have more strength in the relationship. Capricorn is what I'm seeing here with the strength card. That are very nurturing and affectionate energy to this person. Okay, the sun. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is coming through quite strongly here with the Sun card, but most prominently Aries. This is a person who, again, is being showered with a lot of blessings or embraces everything that life has to offer them. They're, as I said, they're quite opportunistic. They embrace whatever is in their path, whatever is given to them. They're very grateful in this regard, and I think because of their appreciation for life, because of their zest for life, it has given them many, many... Life has given... Um, has showered this person with many, many blessings here with the sun card. It's like they radiate a glow, they radiate energy, and they're very helpful with the justice card, and it's almost like the, the, the hands of the sun god Ra Atum is being stretched out. So they stretched out, they stretch out their hands to other people, and you can also see that in the strength card here. So this may be what they do for work, or this may be the, the personality or the nature of this person. That they have either a lot of hands reaching out to them, so they're in a position of very um, of authority, um, of influence. Maybe a lot of people are reaching out to them because they're famous, or they're just in a position where a lot of people want to know about them or want their help. Okay, the two of pentacles could be duality to this person. Um, a dual energy or they could be balancing things right now they could even have two different income streams could be a long distance relationship for some of you as well that we do have the ship here and there's a lot of back and forth energy with the two of pentacles so it's either a long distance relationship for some of you could be someone from a different city state area or province um, <clears throat> could be two different incomes to this person or that they something about weighing things up there's the scales and this sort of weighing up of energy with the two of pentacles so my inclination is that this person has has a lot of weighing up to do that they do in their daily in their daily life so their day-to-day -day life or in their career or in this relationship there's balance and harmony that will be restored but there's there is a lot of back back and forth happening here in Capricorn and I'm wondering if there's someone coming in around around you at the same time for some of you you might have two existing relationships um, and one of these relationships might be with this soulmate or you might be married or um, maybe unhappy in a marriage or in an unhappy in a relationship and this person comes along and suddenly you know this changes things but this is also indicative of a natural affinity towards this person and more earth energy Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy here okay the strength card has come up twice so quite a strong Leo Again, much the same thing, the natural, uh, the infinity symbol is here. So there's something about an eternity or a cycle. So for some of you, this person, you've lived a life with them before, a past life. And the cycle is returning and you're meeting them again. This is, this is nice. This is strength. And you do, you do have two eights here sitting on top of each other. This is abundance. This person is going to provide you with... A lot of emotional security. I feel like if you have dreams, Capricorn, this person is somehow going to help you pursue those dreams. I feel like it's in their nature to be quite benevolent and, and be quite helpful um, for people. And because they're a big dreamer, uh, but they're also a person of action, I feel like they're going to help you with this, with the strength card here. They're going to build on your strengths, Capricorn, and really bring out the best in you. Okay, Nine of Swords, they could be prone to anxiousness. They could also have air energy in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They could be a sufferer of insomnia, um, anxiety, depression maybe. I feel like there's something around this relationship that that's, strength is needed, but you also have the Nine of Swords. So I'm wondering if there's something about a back and forth, about distance, finance, geographical locations, or another person that's going to affect this relationship somehow. Because there, it's not like there's it's a it's a completely smooth transition, Capricorn. There might be some some sort of setbacks or delays 
or times where you feel alone. So I'm more inclined to say it's a long distance relationship or that distance is part of the two of you. It could also mean you take a break in this relationship and come back together and reconcile stronger and better than ever. It could be that you give the relationship a go the first time around and it's not what you, um, I guess it's not as easy as you'd like it to be. And then the second time around, it's it's more special, um, it's more deeper. And maybe this is the concern with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, something about communication as well, Capricorn. Okay, Leo keeps coming up. Third time now. Interesting. Okay, very strong physical attraction, very good sex, very healthy um, sexual relationship that the two of you will have with each other. You'll be very open. I see this person being very open-minded. So not only sexually, but in life, I feel like they're very open to your ideas. They... They're quite liberal in a way, and I think this will sit well with you because you'll be able to agree on a lot of things together. They're very sensual. They could be very spiritual with the Queen of Wands, but again, this indicates that they're a person of action and movement. So there's a lot of movement around this person. And I'm wondering if this will impact on the relationship somehow because this person might move around a lot or this person, maybe they change their mind. I don't think so, though. I think it's more to do with some sort of distance that may be created to you. But I see there's openness. So I feel like this person is open to the sort of relationship you're thinking about having with them. Could also be superstitious, um, involved in the esoteric arts, etc. Let's see what stage in your life you'll be at when this person comes in. Okay, enchantment, February 18th to March 17th. It might be during these dates that the two of you meet. But it'll be... This person is coming in around you at a time where you're enchanted. So I feel like there's new inspirations or new goals that you'll be trying to pursue or achieve when this person comes into your life because you'll be enchanted with something. I almost feel, Capricorn, that you'll be fixated on something else when this person comes into your relationship. So again, this would support what I've mentioned earlier, which would be that you're fixated on a different relationship. And this person comes in, you're fixated on a different career goal. Maybe you're fixated on a new project, a new creative pursuit or a new hobby. But I feel like you'll be very enchanted and very um, inspired by something else in your life. And that's when this person is going to make themselves known to you and come into your experience. So a very good read, Capricorn. I hope it's been enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a, a like um, or subscribe. Otherwise, thank you again and hopefully we'll chat soon.